Hey guys, happy new year. It's Alex here from alexvegas.com. I am filming this on the 24th of January, 2023. This is my first video back after about a month off from filming. Um, so excuse me if I am a little bit rusty. Uh, I'm sure it'll go well though. I hope you all had a good break. Uh, I've had a good break uh, summertime here in New Zealand. Uh, we've had lots of beach sessions with the family um i've done a few things around the house which has been cool and uh i haven't been into the gym well no i haven't lifted weights since my last video uh, i've done a few little sprint sessions but more importantly i haven't had a red light therapy session for a good four or five weeks now um it's a bit of a experiment that i've been doing i'm not going to reveal my findings in this video because i want to do a separate video so be sure to hang around for that i may also put a blog article up uh, I haven't written a blog article in over a year, but I don't know. I thought this year might be a good, good year to get back into it. So be sure to jump on my newsletter over at alexfergus.com and of course, subscribe to this channel. But in this video, we're going to keep it focused on what's been happening in the red light therapy space over the last month or two, and also what's coming down the pipeline for my projects and, and content on this channel. So surprisingly, there has been quite a lot of movement in the space uh, around the product launches and product announcements we did cover a few things late last year uh, so some of these products i'm going to mention now you may have already seen or you may have heard about uh, or they may have been released and i'm actually late to the game in my announcements so first up platinum led of course have their new third gen uh, biomax range this is the range with the addition of blue lights in it i have put out some videos on this uh, testing them showing the remotes doing a bit of a breakdown uh, I noticed over at PlatinumTherapyLights.com, they've now updated their website. It's, it's refreshed uh, and it covers the inclusion of the blue lights, uh, you know, how many you get in each panel. I actually want to touch on this real quick uh, because it, it's been a little bit controversial and I know I've got a lot of comments come through on my YouTube channel and I haven't been working, so I haven't answered any of them. I apologize. I will be sitting down and answering every single one of them. I know there's been a lot of people saying, hey, Alex, I can't disable the blue lights here. What's going on? I was a bit puzzled and perplexed and I've been confused as well because seeing one thing and hearing other things, it's, it's all been a bit crazy. So what I've figured out, what I found out uh, after a few emails and, and phone calls and whatnot, I've figured out that Black Melody launched their new range and the first few panels, uh, I don't know how many they had, they didn't have the option to disable the blue lights, LED, the blue LEDs separate to the other LEDs. So the only way you could drop the blue LEDs was to cut the power to the near infrared circuit, which was also tied into the blue LEDs. Obviously this wasn't great if you're wanting the panel to just emit near infrared and red light and no blue. I, I don't know at what point this, this they changed, but at some point they updated that control system so yes you could go into the menu and just disable blue the blue leds and still leave your near infrared and the red leds running now this is why there's been so much confusion so that's what happened look i'm not going to get into business strategy and, and 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 whatnot but i can understand why people are frustrated if they have an older panel that doesn't have that ability i think now like if you order the the large ones the 900 or 600 i think you're going to get the new control panel uh, but you may want to check with Platinum. The Biomax 300, I think it's the same. But again, you may want to check or you may want to just hold off for another month or two before buying a Biomax to make sure that you're getting the new and improved one. If you have one that hasn't been updated, I recommend reaching out to Platinum and be like, hey, can I send this back and exchange it for one of the new models? Uh, and let me know how you go with that, all right? So we're going to get back into this. Feel free to share any comments and feedback below as well. Again, um, I'm happy to help out where I can on this. Okay, so back to the new products. Uh, Mitre Red, of course, they launched their new series late last year. I will be testing them this year, so that'll be cool. Uh, they've updated their whole, uh, their entire website. Um, looks quite nice and obviously focuses on their new product range. They've also came out with their Mito Pro commercial range. Uh, I'll put a link to this below. I know they did have a bit of a commercial range earlier. Uh, I forgot what it's called, the Pro range or something. Um, so this looks like it's a little bit different again. I haven't had a good look at it. Um, I'm, if you're interested, I may try to get one and, and potentially review them. Uh, so obviously this commercial range is aimed more at um, the clinics and you know salons and whatnot. They're gonna be on sale next month. 
Uh, and at the moment, they're only for the US and Canada. I'm assuming that's for um, shipping freight reasons. Uh, they've got a couple of ranges, the Mega, Elite and Ultimate, and different sizes, different wavelength configurations. And these panels also have a stand that was specifically designed for the pro commercial panel. So um, it's kind of neat, looks a little bit polished. So if you're in that space, you may want to check that out. Head over to MitoRedLight.com. Remember, any uh, red light therapy panel you order, be sure to use discount code Alex, or if you're speaking to them on the phone, say I referred you, um, or you watch this video, for instance, you should get a better deal or a discount. And of course, I get a little bit of a cutback and it helps me um, do videos like this. Kimberly have also launched a new full body panel. Uh, it's priced just under 5,000 bucks, has five wavelengths and contains uh, 480 LEDs. It is one of the larger panels. I don't think they've released a panel of this size before. Five wavelengths, you've got 630, 660, 810, 830, and 850. Quite a unique blend or ratio between the light there. Uh, if anyone has been following Andrew's work or has seen my interviews with Andrew, you know this will be well designed um, and you'll get top quality um, customer care and support. So uh, Andrew really geeks out on the science and this stuff. I mean, he's an absolute whiz when it comes to the, you know, understanding red light therapy and what you need and what you don't need. So while you're over there checking out this panel, be sure to check out his blog and learning center. Next up, we have Light Path LED. Uh, they have a closeout event where they're selling off their older panels for a discounted price. And that is because they will be rolling out a new range, which is quite exciting. I'm going to get one, I'll test it. Be sure to subscribe if you want to check out uh, my thoughts on their new range. Uh, and we have another company that's launched a large panel and that is Solbasium. Uh, it's a massive panel, the Optics 1000. Comes with an adjustable uh, horizontal and vertical stand and height can also be adjusted. Five wavelengths and has a thousand LEDs. Now the price on this is over 10,000 euros. So uh, I'm going to quickly Trans, uh, convert that to US dollars. Okay, it's $12,500. I think that's with the stand as well, the motorized stand. I haven't tested these large panels. All I've ever done is, is clip together multiple Biomax 900s and, and made a large panel set up and got the, the motorized stand as well. If you're looking at these large panels for a commercial setting, um yeah definitely shop around because there's lots of options and lots, lots of ways you can do it it's not something that i plan on reviewing just one because of the price uh, two the market is probably quite small i don't know how many people are in the commercial space watching these videos and three just getting these panels to new zealand i live in rural new zealand like i, I could spend maybe a thousand two thousand dollars just giving that panel to me and then what do i do with it i gotta send it back and it's like it, yeah that's probably so it's probably not something you'll see me review uh but who knows um if you want me to share my thoughts on it, let me know and I can I can take a good look and, and share my thoughts. All right, so now we look at new blog articles. So first up, we have some content from Platinum Melody Light. Uh, so they've got some content explaining why they've introduced the blue light therapy in their panels. Uh, so one article covers the unique benefits of the red and the blue combination. Uh, and that's titled Red and Blue Light Therapy, a Therapeutic Combination. Uh, that was published a few weeks ago. Uh, then you've got another one uh, covering the topic of red light versus blue light for skin health. Um, and that's what I've found as well based on my research, like the 480 nanometer light, the blue light in it is quite good for skin conditions. Uh, that's the main, I guess, draw card to the blue light. Um, there are some other little benefits as well, but the big one is skin skin health who knows how things will play out going forward whether we'll see more companies with blue light or uh, we'll see companies put more blue light leds in i'm not too sure but yeah two good articles there of course uh they're written by platinum led but again the science is solid behind the blue light for skin conditions uh, getting ready to have put out an article on how to avoid cataracts from red light therapy um so they've got a calculator in there to make sure you're not overdosing on light uh, and it also explains why the fear of infrared light exposure and cataracts is overstated by many. So if you've been concerned about eye health and red light therapy, check out that article. And Gimmery have also just published an article, and I've only just seen this uh, literally 10 minutes before I started filming, uh, titled Third Party Data Deception Red Light Therapy Intensity Top Offenders. Uh, now this was sent to me, like I said, just as, as I was about to film, so I've skimmed through it. 
I see my name mentioned a bit in there. I see some of my data. I put it into a table. Uh, I'll put a link to this article. You can go check it out. And it pretty much it talks about how my testing data from a power point of view is very different to what companies are, are listing on their website. And that's something I found back in 2019. I've covered it in depth. Um, I have spoken to most of the companies. A lot of them just don't care. You know, they simply just, they think what I'm doing with my little project over here and they're just like, hey, you, you play with your toys and you know, you do your YouTube thing, it's all good. We don't really care. Like straight up, that's the sort of attitude I get. Um, other people stand by their results because they're like, no, we've done independent testing. Your data is just different because it's a different device. True, it could be the case. Uh, I'm not a professional. I'm not using professional grade equipment like to test it. So I get all that. But anyway, uh, I haven't read this article in full. I've literally just skimmed through it and I needed to get this video done. So I'm going to do a, maybe a separate video on this where I'll unpack it a little bit more and share my thoughts because I know there are some issues in there like Andrew's using my peak intens intensity um, figures which a couple years ago I stopped really relying upon because there are massive flaws with those figures. Uh, instead, I use the average now, so that's a bit of an issue. And finally, Rook have a new article on the relationship between red light therapy and the recovery from adrenal fatigue. So um, yeah, check that out if you're a had a stressful holiday break okay so now typically i would do the new science and then the q a section i've decided i'm not going to do them today uh, i want to keep this first video a little bit shorter just covering the products covering what i'm going to be up to on the channel this year so next month february we'll cover science and we'll also do a detailed q a section so what i want to do now is look at some of the content i've just published if you haven't seen that already some of the content that's about to be published and then the exciting things happening on this channel for the year ahead. So first up, content. So recently we've published videos on the new Biomax uh, remotes. There's a couple of remote options. Uh, the new Biomax motorized stand, which is actually quite nice. I, I was surprised I did enjoy using that. I've looked at the new Mito Red Mito Adapt panel range. I uh, covered the key things there and they've got some new technology or software that they're introducing, which is quite interesting so I've covered that and I will be covering their panels I'll be doing some reviews uh, in the near future as well my team has published some excellent articles uh, one of them was titled does red light therapy work and has taken a deep dive into the science behind red light therapy check that out if you're still new and trying to get your head around red light therapy and whether you should use it I'll put links below jump on my newsletter while you're over at alexfergus.com we only send out like uh, a newsletter every weekend and then whenever there's new blog articles which is sometimes only once a month and there's also going to be a, a pulsing article out very soon as well we've gone deep into the science on pulsing i get asked about a lot i've always been like i don't really know so i thought you know what we're going to figure this out so i can come out and say look this is what the science shows so as for what's coming up on the channel in the not too distant future we've got the biomax 300 review that's the new gen 3 panel uh, we've got the Omnilux Men's Mask Red Light Therapy Review coming out. Uh, we have some tabletop stand options from Biomax. I covered that. We cover the Alibaba panel I got and how that compares, which the results are quite surprising. That'll be out soon. We also have a new panel from a new company, uh, Rojo Red Light or Rojo Therapy Lights. Uh, so I have the Rojo 300. I've been playing around with that. Um, so that video will be up. And then... We have four big videos on my tabletop comparison series. I actually filmed this late last year. All that video, all, all that content will be out maybe February. So um, it's good. I think you'll really like that. So uh, that that's quite exciting as well. So now for the year ahead. So I've done a lot of thinking, a lot of planning over the last few weeks while in holiday mode. It's been good. You know, you've had a good holiday when you're actually looking forward to getting back into work and, and you've got all these ideas. So it has been a good break. Uh, so. First up, I'm actually building a new office. This one's, the one I'm in now is only a year old, but the new one is, is, is dedicated to filming. The one I'm in now is also a bit of a sleep out. So when we have guests coming and stuff. So, so that has been built as I film this, uh, hence some of the background noises you might've heard. Uh, we'll have a nice new backdrop. I'm gonna try to tidy it all up and do it properly. We've also got a new camera coming down. I've, I've upgraded my camera, so we should see some better video uh, footage and uh, higher quality which is all cool as for a content point of view i want to do more interviews with the red light therapy guys scientists companies researchers all that sort of stuff if you know of anyone that i should interview 
leave their name below and I'll reach out to them. Uh, more reviews, more product reviews, not just the panels, but you know, masks, uh, handheld devices, all that. Tabletop comparison will be out soon. Uh, I'll, I do plan on doing another body panel comparison at the end of 2023. Uh, that will keep the two year interval going. Uh, and also because there's so many new panels out now, like the new Biomaxes, the new uh, Mito Red panels. I mean, everyone seems to have a new panel. I don't know if Juve's coming out with a new one, but that'll be interesting. Um, and we're also going to do a lot more stuff over at the blog, uh, alexfix.com. And we're going to take a deep dive into the science. I know I said this last year and then I pulled out, I don't know, a month or two later for a few reasons, but no, I've decided we need to do it. We need to cover the cover red light therapy from all avenues, not just um, the products. So yeah, I mean, we're, 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 I've already touched on the Pulse in blog. There's going to be more blogs like that. And these are, they're not just your, you know, 300 word articles. Anyone that's read my blogs before uh, will know I go pretty deep. Um, you might be talking five, 6,000 words on one topic, but you'll have a hundred odd references and it'll be the ultimate guide on whatever the topic is. So all exciting stuff. Um, it's, it's kind of good to be back. I do have a lot more stuff to film. I will be doing some other stuff as well. Not just red light therapy, uh, you know, sort as I mentioned them, some other product reviews. So there'll be all sorts coming, but, uh, the red light therapy will be, you know, again, the main focus just like it was last year. So. Thank you uh, for all of you that have been leaving comments over the last couple of weeks and I haven't responded. I will get to them. It'll probably take me a whole day to answer them all. So um, I'll get around to that very soon. And uh, yeah, we will see you in the not too distant future. All right guys, bye.